So last time, I talked about how to get started in game emulation and simply dragging and dropping a simple ROM file into a game emulator and being able to play a game on the spot. Well, one thing that stands out is the fact that these games have consistent file sizes. If you take a look at the cartridge-based ROM files, they usually have a fixed number due to the console system architecture. But when the PlayStation was introduced along with disc-based consoles, developers were able to fit more content thanks to the space on discs being much larger as well as being cheaper to produce. So in contrast, when looking up ROMs, they usually come in what's called an ISO file, or a disc image. A disc image is basically taking the structure and content of a disc and making a clone of that disc as a file to use. Usually used back in the day for PCs without CD drives. So with this in mind, let's get started on playing some of our favorite Sony classics. Since we're going to go a little advanced today, we are going to download an advanced multi-system emulator called BizHawk. This emulator allows you not only to just play PlayStation games, but all the consoles you see on the screen. This also has neat plugins for speedrunning and tool assisted runs. But anyway, let's get started by going to this website here and downloading two things. One, a prerequisite installer and the emulator itself. Next, we're going to find the BIOS in order to run the PlayStation hardware. A quick note on what BIOS are. They are essentially firmware in the console CPU that basically looks for an operating system to boot into and load the game. So in order to boot into our game, we need to find the specific BIOS file that you can Google with this text. Then finally, the game you want to play. So in this case, CTR would just be fine for this. Like I said, you can use ISO files for this, but here I have two files that can work just as well. One is a Q file and the other is a bin file. Bin files are essentially all the data that the game has, while the Q file tells the emulator where in the bin file to access the necessary game files. But in case you want more information, I'll provide a link in the description below. But anyways, now that we have our necessary files, we're going to first run our prerequisite installer that's inside our zip file. What this does is update your PC with the necessary background runtimes and graphical updates that allow BizHawk to run smoothly. Once that's done, we're going to create a folder for BizHawk and extract our files into the folder. Then we're going to drag our BIOS file into the firmware folder. Once that's done, connect your controller and open BizHawk. Go to Config, then Firmwares. Scroll down to PCXU. Right click and set Customization, then select our BIOS file. Then hit Close. And now your PlayStation game should run properly. Now we'll drag our Q file into the BizHawk and it'll load. If you want to customize controls in any way, go under Config and then Controllers. But the good thing about this is that even if you have a 360 controller already hooked up, it'll be pre-configured so you can go in and play. If you want to customize even further, definitely check out the menus that this program can offer. There's a lot that BizHawk can do and I'll make a video in the future about it. But until then, check out some of those old PlayStation games you missed and keep that classic gaming charm alive. 